As we all get on with our daily lives, it's hard to grasp the gigantic scale of the data being generated by, about and around us. But put it this way, if we collected all of the data that was produced until the year 2000, it would only match what was created in a single minute today. New data, more data, fast data. The data landscape is constantly changing, so the ways we read and understand data must also develop and stay ahead of the competition. Because to stay ahead of the game, we must be able to recognise what that data is telling us and to use it to make good decisions. Decisions that consider the past, the present and the future. In today's world, the challenge is to use big data to determine the best action for people, every person, and deliver significant value for them. Doing that means turning data into information, then into knowledge, and then we get to wisdom. Now Experian is the big data company, the original big data company, but data on its own is meaningless. Today's growth of data, new data, needs new analytics needs machine learning, artificial intelligence. These are all algorithms that help businesses make better informed decisions but on huge amounts of data and really fast. Decisions that can transform the lives of people, businesses and the wider society. So today we're reimagining what data can do for us all. With frameworks that collect and process every interaction and transaction, we have a wealth of information that can make the journey easier, more accurate and more inclusive and better for everyone. Today we can solve little problems fast, which collectively makes a huge impact. But we can also solve big problems fast, which gives us instant impact. Today, the biggest taxi company doesn't own a single car, and the biggest holiday company has no hotels. And this new way of working can help us create new ways of giving value to people, new products, new services, new connections. The possibilities are endless. For example, with the right analytics, we can receive warning signs from data, see stress signals, and prevent debt issues from occurring. We can connect better with individuals to really help them. So of course, all of this can be confusing, and it could be perceived as intrusive if businesses aren't transparent or fail to explain what their intentions are. So doing so effectively is therefore a priority because we see huge potential for great benefits across markets, which will be good news for real people everywhere and bad news for fraudsters. The bottom line is we have access to personal data. We must use it to help generate positive outcomes for their life. How do we ensure that? We need to understand the data with its many different sources and effectively process it to add value seamlessly into people's lives. In other words, the right analytics can be used to improve people's lives automatically by making quicker, better and more efficient decisions for them. It's all about finding products for people, not people for products, so that we can treat every person as they are, an individual. You see, people connect through the age-old tradition of storytelling. It's up to us to be the positive players in their stories and to help create the right kind of memories for them. To help people manage their finances, run businesses and add value to their everyday activities. To achieve digital experiences that deliver real benefit to their stories. That's what drives us and will help us to shape future lives for the better. We can do this. I mean, how great is it that today we have the data, the analytics, the right computing power to make a real difference. To make better decisions for everyone on everything faster and quicker than we have ever done before. It's an opportunity to redesign data-led decisions and it's one we must grab with both hands.